Hey everybody who's watching this, thanks for asking me what I did to fix my TMJ uh, because I think that after I've told this story to oh countless people that I really ought to get some sort of video where I can just send people the link who ask me how I did it. So this is the how to fix TMJ yourself and forever. And by the way, my name is Rebecca Fuller, and I don't know if you know me, and it doesn't matter if you do or not, because I'm going to share with you my true story. I'm still living it, and well, here it is. Let me show you. So first of all, let's just make sure we are talking about the same thing. TMJ is really called temporal mandibular joint dysfunction or something like that. And basically it just means you kind of have a problem in your jaw that's causing you all sorts of problems like basically your face hurts really bad all the time like mine did. It was killing me constantly. And um, you have headaches. I had headache every single day all the way. This is a, I'm talking about back in my college days. And you may have it now. I don't know how old you are or what you do, but it doesn't matter. If you have some of these symptoms, then you ought to listen up because I promise what I'm going to tell you today works. Does your jaw ache? Because mine really did all the time. And in fact, my cheeks were always swollen <laughs> um, depended on the day, sometimes they were swollen even more, and I was always trying to figure out how to get good pictures of myself with my big chubby cheeks. And anyway, it was just part of my symptoms of TMJ that I didn't know at first. But um, sometimes the pain can be like up in your shoulders and up into your neck. Mine was at times, and I knew it was connected, I could just tell. Um, I always woke up feeling really tired and there's a certain type of a headache and a jaw ache that I could feel right when I woke up that I knew that I was having the symptoms of TMJ. Um, it used to hurt to chew. I had to avoid eating steak. I remember I was kind of sad about that even though now I could care less to have a steak. At the time, it really bothered me to chew hard things like carrots and hard meats, things like that. Um, my face was constantly tired, like fatigued. And my jaw would pop all the time when I chewed or when I yawned. And I know that a lot of people's jaws pop, but mine hurt. And sometimes it didn't hurt while I was popping it but it was definitely helping with the hurt of everything else that I had. Um, so if you are reading this and listening to this, it's because maybe you already know you have this problem and you're ready to fix it, right? Okay, well, I had all these headaches and I really had no idea where it was coming from until one day I told somebody and actually it was my college roommate and yes this is a picture of her and she told me that I was grinding my teeth in my sleep. I, I had no idea. I was I guess making noise in the night and <laughs> it was the first time I'd ever even heard that. I had no idea that I was doing that and so I thought, all right, so I told my mom, and she researched, and I researched, and then referred to a specialist who fit me for one of these lovely little mouth guards that I was supposed to wear all the time. Now, this mouth guard right here in this picture actually kind of looks like the kind that you get when you are going to have your teeth whitened. Well, mine was actually really hard and really thick, but I couldn't really find a picture of it, so I just put this one on. And it was supposed to keep me um, from biting. I don't know why they thought this would keep me from clenching because I think I just thought, hey, there's something in my mouth. I should bite it. So basically, I was just chewing on it all the time. And it was really hard. And I was always clenching on it. And honestly, all it did was have the opposite effect for me as the, than, than the specialist had expected. He wanted this to stop me from having my teeth fit all the way together in the wrong, um, kind of at the wrong alignment. 
But honestly, all it did was make it worse for me. And it also gagged me quite a bit. Blech. I never want to have that ever again. So I did this though for seven months with no improvement. In fact, I was getting worse all the time. My head hurt constantly and I was actually being seen for migraines and it was kind of embarrassing because I had always been super healthy athletic type person and just couldn't figure out what was wrong. Well, I went back every three weeks. I think it was three weeks. It might have been every 10 days. It's been a long time, so I can't remember exactly. But I had to be fit for a new mouth guard, one of those really hard things that would go in my mouth. And one day, they took this uh, sander thing out and started grinding on my teeth. I didn't even know they were going to do it. They just said, open your mouth. And they just started like shaving away part of some of my teeth, hoping that they could get them to align better. Well, honestly, I I was kind of... um, Well, I guess I wasn't as big of a person as I am now because I should have just told them to stop because they didn't ask me if I wanted to do that. I remember I just opened my mouth and they started grinding on my teeth. It was terrible. Anyway, it didn't work and nothing happened. And (laughs) I was beside myself over that, that they would just do that. Um, I didn't really have good explanation. I, I guess maybe, I don't know, maybe they had told somebody I don't know I went to my appointments by myself and with no parents and so I don't know if they needed permission for that or what but that was pretty much the tipping point for me but one day as I was at my appointment and I was signing my release papers from you know the teeth grinding appointment in fact I think it was that appointment I looked at the bill that I had to sign I had kind of avoided looking at the numbers before that, and um, it was being sent to my parents, and I noticed it was over $300, and I vividly remember asking the receptionist if that was my whole therapy or what, and she said, no, this is per appointment. I I couldn't believe it. I called my mom. I asked her if insurance paid for these appointments, and she said no. No. And then I just felt guilty, 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 guilty. I felt horrible. I had no idea that that was costing my parents so much money to try to fix my headache problem that I was having in college. Well, and that was, you know, almost 25 years ago. And so I can't imagine what the cost would be now. I'm sure it's just crazy. During that time, they had told me to eat soft food. So I was I was all about the pudding and mashed potatoes. And, uh, you know, I tried really hard to do everything they said. I put ice on my cheeks and then I'd heat them and I tried all sorts of things. And honestly, nothing, I tell you, nothing worked. I was still feeling extreme stress in my face and had bad headaches. And it was just ruining pretty much everything for me. And um, at the next appointment, this is this is pretty much the pinnacle of the time. The doctor told me that he was going to do this at my next appointment to help me. Does this sound like this would help me? He said he was going to pull 14 of my teeth. I didn't I didn't even know how many teeth I have, but I couldn't imagine having 14 teeth pulled, like pulled out and fake ones put in. Um they wanted to grind the remaining ones down on one side to make everything lay just so. And, you know, when I look in the mirror, maybe I should have put a picture of my teeth on the, on this on this frame, but my teeth are straight, and I never did have braces, but my teeth are really straight, and they fit together pretty good. I, I really honestly could not figure out um, what they were talking about. But, you know, they're the specialist, and they could see that they weren't laying down just right and that maybe some things were askew but then they wanted to break my jaw and wire it shut for like a whole month and then and then do all this stuff to fix my face well honestly I know somebody who had this done and I remember the black and blue and swollen face that she had for weeks after this and it just looked it looked like torture, like she, she had been punched in the face about 50 times. And I don't, 
I haven't talked to her since to see if it helped, but I can't imagine that this was going to help me. This, to me, this recipe right here equals pain and hurt. And it didn't honestly seem like that was the answer to me. I, inside my mind, I was screaming, no way. So, yes, basically I was like, are you freaking kidding me? There's no way you're going to do that to me. So, yeah, and I should mention that I was a music major and that this was just not an option, not even sort of. Um, I'm a flute player and I help other musicians through this kind of thing because it seems to be common, but it's not just musicians who find that they have this TMJ symptoms. Um, anyway, I'll tell you in a little bit about some other people that I have helped do this because it's been really fun to help a lot of people fix this issue because it's totally fixable. Now I understand that maybe, you know, if you have a serious genetic problem where maybe some of your teeth are two inches long and the other ones are like two centimeters or millimeters that you would be completely askew on your face. But no, I look like a normal person, I think anyway. So this just wasn't an option. So I never went there ever, ever, ever again. And oh yeah, here's a picture of me. This is really me, by the way. And see, look at my face. Isn't My smile is okay, isn't it? It's not like all crooked. My teeth don't look all crazy. And um, so I couldn't imagine why they wanted to ruin it and ruin my smile. And um, so I decided to take matters in my very own hands. I figured um, I could tell that I had to do with stress and some... Um, things that I could fix myself and so I started to work on this and I will say I did not fix it immediately it didn't fix in one day or even in one week I worked on this for months and I've been doing it for almost 25 years now and seriously I am pain-free I haven't had headaches since so let me tell you what I did and hopefully you can follow my recipe and you can relieve your own tension and pain in your face and jaw and your head and that you can be all better and I'll be really happy to help you. So um, yes, and I did it all myself by the way. I didn't get any help from any crazy doctors that wanted to take out all my teeth and break my jaw. So here we go. Number one thing that I did was I asked my lovely roommate to wake me up if she heard me grinding my teeth in the night because I didn't even know I was doing that. So I wasn't married yet, and so, but I was lucky to have a roommate in the same room, and she was awesome. She, she was so organized. She set her alarm and would get up in the night and shake me and wake me up. And um, it would help me just find out if I was grinding my teeth so that I could stop at least for a little bit. And that was like my very first step. Thanks, Jen. <laughs> okay, number two was that I stopped popping my jaw just because I could. So I used to kind of pop it like I could feel it catching when I moved my jaw to the side. And I don't know, it kind of felt kind of fun, and I used to just sit and do it. I, I don't know, that sounds crazy to me now, but I used to, and I stopped. And I also made sure that I never opened my mouth past the popping point, like ever, ever, ever. I used to open my mouth really wide to do things, and now I stop where my jaw wants to stop. I never go past where it pops. And um, by the way, I'm going to go through exacts about this in just a minute, but let me go through these five steps real quick. The third thing that I did was I learned how to relax before I went to sleep. And this is seriously the most important thing I do even now. And I will teach you exactly how to relax just perfectly so that you will not have TMJ problems, okay? So, um, yeah, so I already said that. Sorry, I'm using a little system here. And number four is that I sleep with a completely different face now. Um, and yeah, it's not my pretty face. I'm, I've been married for 20 some odd years and <laughs> I bet my husband, if he ever looks at me while I'm sleeping, he probably doesn't see this 
beautiful little princess because I have a certain face I have to sleep with in order to keep the TMJ headaches away. But oh well, that's okay. He loves me. And the fifth thing, I always paid attention and I still do to my mouth position when I'm working on the computer or reading or doing dishes or laundry or whatever it is. And I'll talk about all of these um, one by one now, these steps, so that you can also master the art of this face relaxation. Now this is just a simple little informal video um, tutorial that I'm making real quick because I have so many people ask me that I just thought this would be so much easier to do it this way and okay here we go. So when I asked my roommate to wake me if she heard my grinding my teeth I got thinking you know if I didn't even have my teeth together in the night then it would probably solve <laughs> my problem of grinding my teeth and clenching in the night so I seriously went to the store and I bought nose plugs like the kind you go swimming with to force me to breathe through my mouth for a few days I I honestly hated it it was really hard for me um, it made me kind of snore funny but um, you know through my kind of like that through my mouth but and it made my mouth really dry by morning but you know what it worked and it started to teach me to keep my mouth open while I was sleeping and this is this is really really important and so if you start going through these steps and you are having a really hard time at night stopping yourself from clenching or grinding your teeth then try it try these nose plugs it'll drive you crazy but it will teach you and you know what to drive have yourself be driven crazy for just a few days is totally worth it for the relief that you will get for this I sound like I'm trying to sell something, but actually, I'm just trying to help you all. So, okay, um, anything, basically do whatever it takes to stop clenching. So, you've got to open your mouth at night so that you don't clench and grind your teeth. So, um, and then of course, I stopped popping my jaw. Um, really, don't do it ever again. Even when you have to yawn, stop before your jaw pops. And if you don't have a popping jaw and you still have TMJ, then lucky you, I guess. Okay, never again. Just don't do it. Don't do anything that pops your jaw. Not even once. Okay, so here it is. This is the absolute secret sauce to learning how to fix your TMJ headaches and jaw aches and face aches and all that. So if you weren't paying attention before or you had fallen asleep during this really long video, I want you to pay attention right now because this is it. Here we go. So invest in a really good pillow. Um, no more of those flat pancakey ones that, that you've that your aunt so-and-so passed down or whatever you've gotten out of the closet of your parents house and it's really flat you cannot sleep on one of those ever ever again um, I did go through different kinds of pillows before I found the right one for me because well first of all I was worried about spending very much money when I was in college and so I was kind of going with cheapy ones and the cheapy ones actually work pretty, pretty good for a while until they start getting flat and then they just don't support what you need supported anymore. So I don't know how to tell you exactly which pillow you need because I think everybody's different and besides there are a bajillion pillows out there and they're all different prices but I generally find the squishy ones are definitely a lot better for me. Um, because I need to do something with all that squishy stuff and I'll tell you what it is right now. So while lying on your side or laying on your side, I wasn't sure which English was correct there, um, or if you have to sleep on your back, then make sure you turn your head all the way to the side and lay it flat right against your pillow and then squish your pillow, bring it right up under your head all the way to your shoulder, your, you know, your trapezius area so your pillow is really smashed right against there so that your entire face including below your jaw is laying on the pillow so basically you have to make sure you do not 
place your head on the pillow and let your jaw be slacking um, between your pillow and your body, just hanging in the air. It needs to have your pillow under it. Okay, so let me say that one more time. Make sure your pillow is right up under there holding your jaw up. Does that make sense? I really hope this makes sense. You will have to experiment with this tonight while you're sleeping, probably. Okay, so you're going to start with your um, your forehead and your scalp when you do your relaxation, and you're going to unwrinkle it first of all. You might find out that you were you were tense you were tense in your forehead or your scalp, and as soon as you think relax and just work on relaxing all those muscles clear, clear from the top of your head, you might be like, oh, I didn't even know I was tense there, but you probably are. And then this is where I have troubles is that I kind of have like a smile all the time, even in my eyes. And when I lie down and I get my pillow up under there, I have to relax my eyeballs and especially the sides of my eyes. And I just have to relax them and all the way down to my cheeks so that I kind of get like a like a blank look on my face, kind of like a, a dead face. And that is my relaxed position. And then I have to sleep with this face, okay? So here it is. This is the lovely face. You can adopt this and it'll, it'll be good for you. So you have to then, after you've done all your relaxation, you have to open your mouth by dropping your jaw until your mouth is like, duh, <laughs> like you're saying, duh. It's totally relaxed. But be really careful not to have opened your jaw backwards and you can feel it because it puts tension in your face if you open your mouth and your jaw moves backwards towards the back of your head it actually hurts your jaw so just drop it down and think duh and just relax that totally and then stick your tongue out past your lips just a little bit so that they're all the way through your teeth even though your mouth is open you still must stick your tongue out and then just let it hang out there between your teeth all night long. Now, the reason you have to do this is because if you do have a reflex in the night and who knows, maybe it's nightmares or something, I don't know. Um, but if you do try to clench your teeth together while you're in this position, yeah, ow, it will wake you up because you will bite your tongue really hard and it will wake you up and then you can practice your duh position and relax and go back to sleep. It really works. This is like the secret, I promise. Okay, so the next thing is paying attention to your mouth position when you're doing other things besides sleeping like working on the computer, especially reading, doing dishes. Um, honestly, I think mine came from doing a lot of homework and drawing and uh, things like that in college. And I think I was, a. Uh, in fact, I don't think, I know I was, because I still catch myself doing it now. But I would clench my jaw, even sometimes a little sideways, while I was working on something really hard. And I didn't even necessarily feel nervous, but I think it was just one of those tension things that I would get from over trying. And anyway, just something like that. But every 10 minutes I set my timer so that I could double check to see if I was clenching or sitting there with my jaw, you know, a little askew out of alignment. And I still have to catch myself doing this all the time as I'm working suddenly I'll think oh my goodness I'm clenching my jaw or my face is kind of sideways right now and I just have to relax it stick my tongue between my teeth and practice my duh <laughs> I basically had to do it all the time studying reading typing drawing practicing the piano anytime I wasn't talking or eating and it's just a habit I've had to create for myself. I've had to make this so that I can stay TMJ and headache free forever. And it works. Hmm. 
So I think that's it. Um, yeah, I even practiced relaxing my face while I was making these little slides for this video. And I know this is kind of long, but I'm pretty sure you found it valuable information because if somebody had told me this that many years ago, 25 years ago, oh goodness, I could have saved myself a lot of headaches. <laughs> Pun intended there. So um, yeah, so I kept my duh face on with my tongue between my teeth all the time. And I don't have to do this all the time anymore, but if I find myself clenching, then I do have to assume the duh position. So, um, I, and I don't have any symptoms of TMJ anymore. I honestly never have headaches anymore. Um, it's been like 24 years since, and I recognize what it feels like. When I wake up in the morning and I, I can feel it in my head, and I can tell I clenched all night. And the good thing is, I know how to fix it. And I go back to making sure and reminding myself every single night to do my relaxation and assuming my duh position with my tongue out. And it fixes it. It really does. And I did it myself without having to have all of my teeth pulled and my jaw broken. <laughs> that was a terrible idea. So you can do this too. I know you can. Um, you're all my friends, anybody watching this video. I think that we human beings can help each other on this planet. And if I can just help any of you with this issue, then I will be super happy about it. Um, and I've helped a lot of people through this process, by the way, including a major university president twice, in fact, <laughs> um, music majors around the globe, stressed out housewives, computer using business people, basically anybody on this planet can have this type of tension in their face that causes TMJ. And so I'm going to just tell you, if you need to, hopefully you took notes, and if you didn't, go ahead and rewind this a bit and write down those five steps and exactly what you have to do to fix yourself. And after you do, and you've relieved your headaches and all of your tension, then I would love to hear from you, just for fun. Go ahead and email me. Um, I have several email addresses, but I chose this one right here. This is one of my online businesses, and I think that um, this email address will be good for a long time, so that's why I chose this. And it's Rebecca at LearnFluteOnline.com because I'm a total softie, I'm a sucker for success stories, and I'd love to hear from you, and I really hope that this helped you. And um, yeah, that's it. Well, thanks so much for watching this whole thing, and good luck to you on how to fix TMJ yourself forever.